Did you know about the U.S. Army Camel Corps? I didn't know about it at all, like even a little bit. So we were in Houston this past week for one of our death salon events, and all of the speakers and organizers were staying in a house. And Dr. Paul Kudinaris, this guy, he's been in my videos before, left in the middle of the night to drive 400 miles from Houston to Vicksburg, Mississippi to photograph the grave of the Confederate camel. I'm just gonna say what you're all thinking. What? In 1855, the United States Congress set aside $30,000 for the War Department to import camels and dromedaries, that's the one with one hump, for military efforts. The leader of this initiative was none other than Jefferson Davis, the future president of the Confederate States during the U.S. Civil War. They went on a Navy ship to places like Tunis, Malta, Alexandria to collect all these camels, 33 in total. Military animals aren't actually that strange. Horses are used, obviously, and animals like pigeons have been used in espionage and dolphins and sea lions in bomb detection. Sweden, and then later the Soviet Union, even tried to use moose for trekking and fighting in deep snow, but it didn't work out. The moose were like, nope, bye. Now, camels did have advantages. They could carry hundreds of pounds of food and gear at a time and didn't need much water. But they also tended to flip out, be cranky as hell, scare the horses, and just generally be unpredictable. So on the second trip, they brought back more camels and several handlers, including a Syrian man named Haji Ali, who the Americans called Hi Jolly. Then came the Civil War. The Camel Corps as a whole was abandoned, there just wasn't the resources, but some camels did find their way into battle, including Douglas. Old Douglas, as he was known, a dromedary, would pack equipment for the 43rd Mississippi Infantry Regiment. Now, he had been in combat before. This was a combat camel. Then, during the 47-day-long Siege of Vicksburg, Douglas, who was just chilling on a hill at the time, was killed by a Union sharpshooter. The Confederate Army was so pissed, they sent their six best sharpshooters to go kill the man who killed Douglas. Camel revenge plot. Because it was a siege, the Confederate soldiers were starving at this point, boiling shoe leather and eating dogs and rats to survive. So they went out and drugged Douglas back and ate him. Which is not a very soldier camaraderie thing to do, but you gotta do what you gotta do in those situations. They even made some of his bones into Civil War souvenirs. So back to Paul and the grave. He calls ahead to see if this cemetery is available to photograph. The man on the other line says, Yes, and if it's not open, just call 911. Paul says, I don't think me getting into a Confederate cemetery necessitates a police emergency. And the guy says, Around here, that is an emergency. And here it is, Paul's photograph of the memorial to brave Douglas, the faithful, patient war camel. And that's your Morbid Minute. Remember, you, like all other beasts, will die. Brought to you with support from People's Memorial Association and the Co-op Funeral Home, and donations from viewers like you.